Hello. Marty, it's Rod. I'm at the airport to meet Bill Brooker. He's coming straight into the office. Don't forget, 10.30. 10.30, check. And then we're all doing a hand press with the new marketing boy from Dayonda. Except the boy's a she, a woman. <laughs> so maybe a nice suit for this one, Marty. You only get one chance to make a first impression. Suit, check. Pat with goody good goodness. Sun Squeeze, now with added goodatives. You okay to get to school, son? Mm. Mm. Tell your mother I'll pick you up in a couple of weeks. Mm. Okay, Craig, just give us a nod when the, uh, the green screen's up there. You got the... Right there. Okay, James, now we need more nail varnish. Can we get some nail varnish in here? We need you to spritz this and control the head. Jenny! Yeah, okay. All right, well, okay, if you were trapped in a snow cave and all you had was a choco crunch bar, it would be an essential part of your daily diet. We just wanted to match the top of the glass here. Run the ad, no disclaimer. Okay, quiet, please. Take 48. Take 48? Okay, go. What's the problem, McBain? Is the beer fluffing his lines? Your motivation is to look refreshing. Where's the dog? We've got to do the old trick and get out of uh, here. The dog. He's he's missing. What? He uh, he walked out. So hang on, just let me understand. While the froth was underperforming, you let Australia's most loved advertising icon walk out of an open studio door. It was hot. It was hot. Excuse me, script down, please. Uh, out the door, looking for Rex, please. Yeah. Buddy, matey, uh, mate, I'm here now with Bill for our scheduled 10.30 meeting. Martin on the blower now. It is 11 now, Muddy. Well, here's an idea, Rog. You got a pen and paper? Pen and paper. Shoot, buddy. Hey, Nelson crosses with him. The hours will fly by. I'm already late for a meeting with Rex Beer. Yeah. Mate, you still there? On his way in now, Bill. Staff meeting at 1300 hours, Roger. Only people on the list to attend. Okie dokie. Sumo, put your dog away. Uh, he's almost there. Uh, uh, uh! <laughs> You know, in any other industry, that would be sexual harassment. That is why I got into advertising. Is that the new boss? What's he going to do, you think? Oh, same as every new CEO. It's going to be a thrill working with you all. And then about one month later, draw up a list and sack half of us. Kath, Sumo, need you in a meeting at 1300 hours. You three are fine, you're not on the list. Time frames may vary. Hey, what do you think? This is it, the new day on the duck. Yeah, great. Well, we've got 20,000 of them arriving tomorrow. Good. What? Why? Well, I just said you needed them for the day on the launch on Friday. Uh, I said 20. Oh, well, you've got that, and then some. <sighs> One animal at a time. Hey, we were training some dog understudies to do the Rex trick, right? Yeah. Where are they now? Uh, one went mad. Oh, and the other? The mad one killed it. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. Okay, well, Todd's waiting for us. Todd! Mate, we're losing our kids to drugs and alcohol pops. Oh, it's a tragedy when young lives are cut short. Oh, they're still alive. We're losing our share of throat in the 18 to 25 demographic. Their first drink's not beer anymore. Still a tragedy. We need to get our NLDs back. Uh, NLDs? The newly legal drinkers. 18-year-olds. So we're going for 18 to 25? More 18. 18 to... 18 to 18. Mm. It's a narrow demographic, but not a minute younger. And this is our way back in. 
Rex be a shandy. Shandy? Well, isn't that what grandmothers drink? I mean, are you sure 18 year olds are going to go for this? It's got a ton of sugar, ton of alcohol, a shot of guarana, and it's fluoro green. That'll work. It's called Rex Randy. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Randy and the dog. <laughs> Unbeatable. So you want to keep a dog for this new launch? What sort of question's that? Of course, it's a given. Really? I was just beginning to think maybe the dog's getting a bit... tired. Maybe it's time we thought about losing him. Lose the dog? We're losing the dog! Three milligrams of Zolotol. Stat... <laughs> just a thought. Sometimes we have to kill our babies. Well, you're not killing this puppy. No. Froth up over Rex Randy Shandy. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, God. I think I just got adult onset diabetes. That's so sweet. No 18 year old is going to drink this. Well, that's not who it's for. He said 18. Yeah, he meant 14. He was very clear about that. I was there. His actual words were not a minute under 18. Which is 14. If he meant 18, he would have said not a minute under 25. He said 18. Then why didn't he just say 14? He did. He can't legally, so he said 18. All those on the list to the staff hub, please. All those on the list to the staff hub. Are we going to get fired? I can't move back in with my parents. We'll be fine. Dad walks around the house naked. He looks like an explosion in a butcher shop. Hmm. I should see more of my parents. We all here? All right, guys. When a new CEO starts, there's always going to be some nerves. But let me put your minds at rest. Bill turned our New York office into the most profitable in the network. He's not only a hero of mine, but he's someone I'm proud to call a friend. Our new CEO, Bill Brooker. At ease. <laughs> when the spinal cord of a jungle rat is severed, the brain continues, but the body goes into spasm. Fodder for any predator. I do, I've seen it. This agency is a spasming jungle rat. Three major accounts and $22 million in billings lost in the last 73 days. When you return to your desks, those colleagues not currently in this room will be gone. Take time. Today, as of 13.04 hours, the rat stops spasming. It's a great thrill to be part of such a wonderful team. Dismissed. Bill, uh, let me introduce you to our legendary creative director, Martin Manning. Today, at 15.30 hours, we are meeting with a new marketing director of the Dianda Motor Corporation. During her visit, you will appear motivated, busy, and happy. Do you mind if I just did two and faked the third? Ooh, breakfast. Oh, my <laughs> poor Noah. Oh, look, look, Rooney, too. Oh, look, he's left behind a picture of his kid. Prick's taken my pen. Give me his kid. What? It's mine now. Guys. Marty ran over Rex. Is he all right? He's roadkill, but you didn't hear it from me. Say that again. He's roadkill, but you didn't hear it from me. The other bit, one more time. Marty ran over Rex. Softer, slower. Ma which, which bit? You think you're having a bad day, and then this ray of light just breaks through. Travel. Marty's run over the best idea he had in 20 years. <gasps> I get a new chair and a daughter. Son. The dog is dead, and with it potentially a $15 million account. Well, it's not the only dog on the planet. There is only one responsible course of action. We have to lie to the client. They must not know the beast is dead. Don't worry, Bill. When the going gets tough, Marty gets creative. I know, Martin. Highest ranked creative in the country four times. Creative director of the year thrice. Eight Khan Lions, 26 other awards. 
Oh, sorry. You've got me feeling all guilty for not giving a shit about your life. Then AWOL for 19 months with a bout of post-divorce stress syndrome. A very public exposure of a soft emotional underbelly. Roger, could you put us out of our misery and get a tape and measure our dicks for us? <laughs> I'll fix the dog. You keep your eye on the spasming rat. I will be. Sorry, I was talking to Roger. McBainy! Barbara. Roger needs an ETA on those ducks. Uh, Travelling. Got a mate driving him down from Darwin. Same guy who uh, drove out the fence for a rabbit proof fence. No way. Yes, why? So when? Uh, 0700 hours tomorrow. No, McBainy, we need them by the morning. Oh, well, you might have told me this. Yes. Oh, this is. <laughs> Take a moment of ah. From the jungles of Ceylon. No, it's Sri Lanka now. Fuck. Heard you having a dog of a day, boss. Simo, you survived the cull. Just wanted to say, if you need any help, just whistle. <whistles> Thank you so little. I'm being genuine. Now, when did you learn a big word like that? I can get a CGI dog built by the guys who did happy feet. Will it look real? Yeah, yeah. Will it be done in time? No. So, what do you think I think of that idea, McBainy? What do I think you think? Well, where do you want me to put the 20,000 ducks when they arrive? The thoughts forming. Marion West, 39, single, former marketing director for Dermax Steel, then Greenberg Ball Bearings. MBA from Boston. A fish called Yuki. Buki. <clears throat> Damn it. Buki. Weaknesses, chocolate, sentimental musicals. 100%. Well done. Now, destroy the document. Bookie. Where's Martin? Will I actually be meeting a creative director? And that's why I'm here. That's who I'm going to be working with. Martin's been scrambled. Sorry? He can't wait to meet you. I'm waiting to meet him. Sorry, weakness for musicals. Chocolate? Mm. I might just play the presentation. Oh, what have I hit? Fuck mechanical dogs, McBainy. How long to train a real one? Four months. Not to fly the space shuttle, to do the trick. Four months. Martin, where the bloody hell are you? Boardroom now. Yeah. Have we found the problem yet? I think so. Whole AV system needs an upgrade. It's over 18 months old. Oh, a seance. Hello, Grandma, are you there? Martin, I'd like you to meet Marion West. Hello, Martin. Martin Manning. BND, worldwide, with 59 offices globally, Sorry. all over the world. So. Marion, I understand that Dayonda want to reposition and relaunch the new Darien sedan, and they need our help with a facelift. So, I thought we'd start with everybody's favourite duck. I may have a little surprise for you, Marion. I'll just duck out. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you brought this up. I've been looking at recent campaigns, and they're tired. I mean, this duck has been around for 15 years. This tired duck did increase your sales by 70%. Once, but not now. Now ducks clean toilets. They don't sell cars. <laughs> I think the first rule of advertising is don't kill something that works, yeah? And I thought the first rule of dealing with clients is don't patronise them. There are a lot of rules, aren't there? And so little time. The duck stops here. Wow! Who do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> How the hell are we supposed to get 14-year-olds drinking this shit without the dog? Can you stop on the 14-year-old thing, please? You think it's an accident that Rex the dog and his little trick appeal to kids? Yeah, but that wasn't the original intention. You think Rex Brewery spent millions on market testing the dog and didn't notice the kids would go nuts over it? Kids don't drink beer. But they will. Beer is beer. It's a brown, fizzy liquid. People don't drink beer, they drink the brand. And kids... Love the dog. So, 
when they pull out their fake IDs and pick their first drink, which brand do you think they're going to go for? It's perfect cradle to the grave marketing. Mm, think of a happy place. Think of a happy place. So, what is it that 18-year-olds want and 14-year-olds aspire to? Mm, to be accepted, to be cool. Yes, and get drunk and get laid. You are the shallowest person I think I've ever met. Babs, mm -hmm. what is it you most wanted to do when you were 18? Lose my virginity again. Again? Well, I couldn't remember the first time. I was so drunk. <laughs> McBainy, do you think that we're crossing an ethical boundary with this Rex Randy campaign? Ah, yes, ethical boundaries. Um... Hmm. <laughs> Mm, the, yeah, it's not, the, 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 okay, ethical, hmm, ooh, that's hot. Aged for six million years, Highland Malt. It's so old, you can barely taste it. Barbara, mm -hmm. you've got to get Todd to push this Rex Randy deadline. I tried already. He still wants to see something yesterday. Oh, like a charm a corpse. Oh, McBainy needs to talk to you about all the ducks. The duck's dead. No, no, not the dog, the duck. No, the duck's dead. We need the dog alive. I'm pretty sure the dog's dead. Go away, please. Oh. McBainy! Bill, we haven't had a chance to toast your arrival with some of the produce of France. <laughs> Would you mind shutting the door, Roger? This is not you. This is us, this is what this is we've done. Okay, no, 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 no. I, I, I just, I, okay, shh, 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 What have you got? Well, with all due respect, Marty, you reverse parked over our campaign before we had a chance to write it. Alcohol Standards Act. We can't show anyone under 25, we can't show the drink changing mood, and we can't suggest it leads to sexual success. I'll get you a new Rex. Even if I have to make it out of plasticine and cat fur. And without it, we do the same beer ad that everybody else does. Four blokes drinking at a bar that all look like they've fallen out of the back of Shane Warne's panel van. Booney, Muzza, Jacko and, and Davo. Davo. Mate! It's a Rex campaign with a dog. Nothing changes. Open up on scene one, a dead dog drinking at a bar. Hey. And you claim he wants kids. Yeah, I told him when I signed on, number one requirement must want kids. Yeah. Anyway, that sounds a bit more promising. Yeah, what does he do? Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, so, so, how turned exactly is his eye? Um, yeah, I've, I've block booked prime time for the month of July, so um, maximum impact, I'll, I'll call you back. Cheers. Sorry, um, I just wanted to apologise. This is probably the worst day of my professional life. Mind you, not as bad as most days of my private life. <laughs> um, I, I would really love to hear what you're thinking. Like, my first major thought at this early stage is to set fire to the building. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have some matches. <laughs> We're not usually this bad. Well, thank you for going the extra mile for me, then. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe we could get a coffee and I could put your mind at ease. You sick, twisted asshole! You cannot sack someone who's given 20 years of their life um, to this agency. We've got a little HR situation developing. This isn't helping, is it? Excuse me. Some weird military faggot is <gasps> not going to kill my career. I'm Barbara, by the way. Do you hear me, Brew Cream Boy? Do you hear me? Fool barricaded himself in. 
Okay. Call security. You suck security. Cut off his access to the PA. Can't. All interconnected. <laughs> Whole security system needs an upgrade. Oh. Oh. Have we got tear gas? Got us a dog. Can I do the trick? Perfectly. Apparently, some kid loved Rex so much he taught his own dog to do the trick. Bang. Yes. Get yourself a lycra suit and a cape, McBaney, to save the world. I actually have a. Told please, is Martin Manning? That looks like Rex. It's a blue healer, right? So it'll match. Sure, it's a dog. Come on, it. She's back to me. Hey, McBaney. Does the duck guy do dogs? You're shitting me, Martin. Looks like a cheap kid's pantomime dog. Oh no, this isn't the suit. We'll be throwing a hundred grand at it. It'll be an uh, animatronic. It won't look cheap. Looks shit now. Jump over that, mate. Now, this is Randy. Now, Randy's a talking dog who has three best mates. Wazza, Macca... And Davo. And they all play practical jokes on each other, except Randy can do two things that Rex can't. He can hold the product. And he can pick up women for his mates to have casual sex with. The Alcohol Standards Act doesn't ban dogs from picking up women. Is there an element of bestiality here? I don't think it'll hurt us. Now, the first practical joke that Randy plays is at a backyard barbie. He pushes his mate Davo in the pool, which is full of all these... Fluffy ducks. 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 20,000 of them. Ducks. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? You think 18-year-olds will go for this? 18-year-olds of all ages. I feel soiled. I mean, we're doing an alcohol ad for toddlers. The guy's a genius. He's raised the bar to an entire new low. Oh, Marty, uh, I, I, I'm retiring to pursue my own projects. Uh, call me. We should, we should talk. You, you and me. Uh, I'll call you. Uh, except I can't. They, they, they took my phone. Uh, remember me. He deserves better than this. You're right. I'll put up a plaque. flirt thing, you know, where I laugh at everything they say, but I think I accidentally laughed at, at a story about his retarded brother, and I, I was trying to let him think that I was fun, but actually I think he just thought I was, you know, weird. <gasps> I'll, I'll call you later. <laughs> 